why landing page chatbots are much better than ManyChat with Messenger. If you run chatbots for your business and you use the ManyChat platform and you're using the Messenger platform to do all this messaging with your prospects, your customers, your leads, all that, then you're gonna wanna keep watching this video because I'm about to explain to you and show you an alternative option using a tool called landbot.io. And basically this tool allows you to build out chatbots that live on a landing page. So I'm gonna be going over all the different pros and positives about going this route using the landing page and Landbot versus ManyChat and using Messenger. So stay tuned and let's go ahead and jump into it. Real quick, if you don't know who I am, my name is Ian Smith and I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media. We work with a lot of Amazon sellers and we help them with running chatbots, Google ads, Facebook ads, email marketing, direct mail marketing, and overall helping them rank high get more reviews and scale their Amazon business. So if you're looking to do any of that stuff that I just mentioned, then book a free consulting call with me by going to evolvemedia.agency. All right, so jumping into things, we're gonna start with my very first and most loved feature about using landing page chatbots versus mini chat and messenger. And then we're gonna end the video with my second most favorite feature about using landing page chatbots. Okay, so the first most favorite feature of mine is that you can use these landing page chatbots with any traffic source. You can use Reddit ads, you can use Google ads, you can use LinkedIn ads, any kind of traffic source, these landing page bots are going to work very well with because it doesn't rely on somebody having a Facebook account and they also need to use Messenger and they need to potentially come from the Facebook platform in order to be able to avoid jumping over all these hurdles, you know, the whole clicking of get started button and all that kind of baloney. It is very annoying to have to go through that when you're running a messenger bot campaign and you don't need to do any of that with these landing page chatbots using the tool Landbot. There are a couple of gripes that I have and beef that I have with Facebook and ManyChat that uh, if you don't really know about, let me just tell you about. Okay, so one, if you're running a ManyChat Messenger bot campaign, really, like I mentioned before, the only way you're gonna get them into your chatbot is through a Facebook ad. And if your business model doesn't align with Facebook or you get your ad account shut down or for a million reasons, Facebook is just not wanting you to advertise, then you're not gonna be using a ManyChat bot. That's bottom line. Next, when driving Facebook ad traffic into a ManyChat Messenger bot, you have a lot of issues, glitches, and errors that happen. It's like a regular occurrence for me when I'm setting up Facebook ads, driving traffic into Messenger, into a chat bot, I'm constantly getting issues of the message not sending or these quick replies messages that are showing up that I didn't even set up or having to delete the welcome message, the default reply, having to remove the FAQs. It's just not working versus mobile and desktop. When somebody clicks on the ad, it doesn't actually fire the chat bot. It's a common occurrence that when I'm setting up Facebook ads into a chatbot, I'm faced with issues and glitches and you just don't have those issues and glitches with these landing page bots because they don't rely on ManyChat, which then relies on Messenger, which then relies on Facebook. It's just, it's a big old cluster <laughs> mess and it is very difficult to actually have it just work seamlessly and have a great user experience. It just doesn't happen anymore. Also, you don't have to worry about a 24 hour rule. Now, if you don't know what a 24 hour rule is, basically you cannot message somebody outside of a 24 hour window that they engaged with your bot. And if you do, and it's not for one of the four reasons that Facebook has determined, which most cases it's not within those four reasons, then your Facebook fan page runs the risk of potentially being shut down and not being able to send any more messages. And when you have a sizable list in ManyChat and people that have messaged your page and your page can no longer message anybody, you lose access to that list and access to communication with your customers and it is a very scary thing, okay? So not having to worry about the 24 hour rule and not having to worry about your Facebook page being shut down is what Landbot, landing page chatbots can now offer you when running uh, communication channels where people need to be very back and forth with your actual bot, where you're collecting a lot of information and you don't wanna just hit them with this massive form to fill out and you wanna present those questions in a sequential one at a time manner and then also have some if then statements. So if they answered a question this way, you can direct them down that flow or if they answered it that way, then you can direct them that way. 
Now instead, what happens with these landing page chatbots is that if they leave the landing page, that's it, that's done. If they come back to the landing page, they have to start over from the very beginning. So what you wanna do with these landing page chatbots is collect their email address right away, and then you'll want to set up some tags and some different kind of automation steps to communicate with your email platform to earmark how deep they got in the flow, and then whenever they bail, then you'll wanna send them a follow-up email trying to bring them back to the flow, but it definitely is gonna be tricky to bring them back to that exact same spot that they were at. So really you just want to rely on your email marketing to follow up with them to collect any other information that they may have missed out on. Next, these landing page chatbots work great for all demographics and all people that are not necessarily tech savvy. You know, those people that are not necessarily avid Facebook and avid messenger users, they can easily use this landing page chatbot and you're gonna have a higher conversion rate, you're gonna have more people, like I mentioned, better traffic sources, more traffic sources to choose from and drive traffic to your actual landing page to get people to go through this, opens up affiliate opportunities, opens up email marketing. If you want to grab an influencer partner to send a bunch of emails to your landing page, you can worry, you know, you don't have to worry about those people bouncing and leaving because they can easily go through this chatbot experience and it's gonna be a lot better user experience for your customers and your potential customers. So like I mentioned before, you're going to get higher conversion rates with these landing page chatbots. You can even put them onto your regular website, put a pop-up on your website and then embed one of these chatbots in the pop-up if you wanna do like an email capture for a digital download or something. So if you got an exit intent pop-up or just a timed pop-up, you put this chatbot code in there saying, hey, we've seen that you've been on our site, you seem interested, would you like to download our free guide to XYZ? They quickly enter their email, they go through the bot, and then you can even give them the download right there through the bot making it just super slick and super streamlined when it comes to digital downloads, lead magnets, and things like that. So whether this chatbot is being embedded into a pop-up, into a landing page, into a small little section on your blog page or on your different blogs that you have, or if it's just a the actual land bot landing page that they give you that you don't necessarily need to have a domain or a page for, you can literally just use their page and people can visit it. I mean, I would recommend having a landing page or putting it on your website, but you don't necessarily need that if you wanna go the basic approach. There are just so many options for being able to put these bots in different places in order to get people to jump into these flows. And that's really how you want it to be. You want it to be as easy as possible for the user to just go through your flow, you get their contact info, or you get them to buy something or, or something along those lines, even address, you can collect their address and then they can make a purchase through these bots because you can link the bot up with Stripe or a payment processor. I mean, the opportunities and the options are really endless. There's so many different things that you can do with them. I'm a huge fan of them, obviously, you can see. So I definitely would recommend, you know, checking and looking into Landbot and these different chatbots. So let me now tell you the last and my second most favorite feature and thing that comes with these chatbots. It's customizability. So you can literally change the font, the font size, the font color, you can change the background color, you can change the overall color scheme, and you can't do that, and you will never be able to do that with ManyChat and Messenger. Now maybe that's a pro for ManyChat and Messenger that you don't have to mess with all the branding and the colors and stuff, but I personally think it's a pro that you can have the ability to change color schemes, change fonts, change font sizes, all that kind of stuff. You can make it look more in line with your brand because it really is on your platform versus being on the messenger platform. So that is really one of my favorite, you know, like I said, my second favorite feature of using Landbot, landing page chatbots, you know, I think they're really cool. Again, if you want to talk about how to get one of these set up and you want to chat with me about it, then head over to evolvemedia.agency. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you in the next one.